number two and that is non-judgmental from the 16 power traits by Sachi Maheshwari my friend there is no uh, so much good in the rest of us and there is so much bad in the best of us that none of us has actually the right to criticize any one of us it goes without saying that everyone tries to do his or her best whenever they are uh, performing somewhere or talking uh, meeting people or in their pub public uh, dealings anybody interacting with them the audiences or the people they take a minute to give their opinion giving the slightest cognizance as to how much effort has gone into the preparation and his actual uh, getting ready in making that performance he or she at is his or her best at the time within in all their public dealings my friend remember everyone around us are actually actually uh, finds a reason to speak about another person through the through their judgments and their opinions howsoever busy we may be my friend we have so much time to talk about everything around us but we hardly want to analyze ourselves however engaged we may be in our work in our various business dealing professional dealings but we have all the time to make judgment and opinion about others just the deeds of, uh, of the others and have enough time to advise to give on uh, how others should be and how others should have been the author gives an incident he talks about an ins per her personal ex uh, incident that she was traveling in a train and uh, she noticed that when all of them were sitting there the lady comes one and she also takes her seat right in front and there's a general habit of everyone to keep their stuff right under their uh, feet so that it is safer or they are, it is protected they don't have to worry for being stolen so what the lady did she put her luggage right in front of those two seats the people are, for, are finding inconvenient uh, crossing over and there are discomfort everybody was trying to tell her to shift and put it on the other side or somewhere else but she was so insistent that she never wanted to part away from her luggage from away from her even little she just wanted to keep her right right under here her seat and keep touching it even and obviously what happened everybody sitting there everybody passing out there they started giving comments they started advising her and talking all kinds of things how people are so irresponsible insensitive and how they can make everybody's lives uh, life inconvenience I realized that she says that she realized that instead of convincing her peacefully she was just and ill-treated because everyone out there wanted to prove that they are right my friend simple message comes from from the uh, this small incident very regular routine incidents that we refuse to understand the perspective of others she talks about giving one or two more examples and then she says how powerful can this trait be for you being non-judgmental she explains that the basic difference between an opinion and a judgment is that an opinion is suggestion suggestive in nature while a judgment is a conclusion arrived 
without an opportunity to the other person to say something to say anything in legal terms it is said that denying uh, said denying principle of natural justice to each person we are in great hurry to just throw some opinion make some judgment and move on my friends instead uh, in the instant instant so many instances of reaching a conclusion by assessing others on the basis of their appearances on the basis of their achievements actually uh, uh, and on the basis of their professions even these are there is a power in maintaining non judgment my friend a person who is non judgmental actually learns the art of accepting others as they as they are and thereby gives them the required space to lead their life normally being non judgmental also helps in generating long lasting relationships people are respected for the way they give respect to other individuals and uh, and their unique trait of being non judgmental being judgmental takes away our positive side of thoughts my friend sometimes and make make us biased it can take away all our time all our time and energy and leave us with sore relationships bad biases complaining attitudes regrets anger resentment and so many negative things therefore why spend energy and time on things which make us powerless and draw away all the power to seek and apply the uh, the apply to energies which will renounce our time utilization she suggests my friend that be the best user of time and sense by remaining non judgmental and give you must always give a big no no to the least important weakness in our life and that is she called it and we all agree that's called ego avoid intrusions in your uh, uh, power and abstain from becoming powerless by being non judgmental non judgmental after the end of the each trade she gives some uh, the takeaways she said we are going to gain nothing by ju- by judging others except their wrath and you can never be a good judge of yourself once we learn to remain non judgmental my friends we make everybody at ease with themselves and comfort she recommends in after every uh, trait after every chapter she recommends few things three things to uh, do and here in power trait number 2 non judgmental she recommends three things to do is firstly if you do not like if you meet someone and you do not like that person ask yourself for a minute what is that you don't like in him or her next step find a peaceful place where comfortably you are sitting and think about honestly and thirdly force yourself to find a, at least two good qualities in that person whom you have just met why so that you next time you meet him or her you value him or her for her good qualities my friend practice this power trait number 2 non judgmental you will find the difference in your personal and professional relationship both thank you very much